So good morning. Uh, I am Louis Vera, the founder and then the main developer of the electrical wiring simulator. So thank you for giving us an opportunity to present or to, 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 to be partner with your uh, institution. But before that, I would like to thank uh, Angela and Christian for having a constant communication with me and the team for to solve some issues and minor glitches. And then I hope that with this version now, uh, we will be able to see the whole feature of the electrical wiring simulator. But uh, I would, before we proceed with the discussion on the main features of the app, I would like to take you on the history of how this app was formulated. So basically, during that time, uh, the, the app was developed last 2022 during the, the pandemic. Uh, during that time, the institutions worldwide, I think you are also affected, the, all educational institutions were affected on how to implement laboratory intensive uh, subjects. Or in this particular case, when I was teaching the electrical engineering subjects, so, also during that time, especially here in the Philippines, uh, most of our students don't have access to, to computers, to desktop or any other laptop. So during that time, we uh, formulated, we formulated or tried to develop or try to migrate what is uh, normally practiced or what is normally available during that time. The simulations, the simulators available on laptop, on online, we want to bring it in mobile devices so that they can use it on their Android phone, mobile devices, so on and so forth for uh, ease of access. And then they can also explore what uh, what are the practice uh, to practice on uh, wiring, even if they are not in, in school. So basically, that's the rationale of uh, developing the app. They can practice, simulate, and see the actual pictures instead of the schematic diagrams see the actual pictures of the component, test the wiring, and see the functionality of how it works in real life. So basically, that's that's the rationale here, there. So again, uh, I would like to uh, apologize for some glitches. This is our first time to partner with an institution uh, offering Apple uh, School Manager, Apple School Manager, something like that. So this is our first time to create a very dedicated a separate application, a separate application for a, a different client. So thank you for uh, for patiently working with me along and the team to to solve the glitches. Okay. So now let's let's discuss. I would like to I, I recorded this video so that we can have a a much better understanding on the verse on on the on the tools of the app. Okay. So first is if we're going to click here. Okay, so we will have the accounts. So we will have the account of this is already version. I think the version is 12.6 already. We will have the account. So this account, the purpose of this account is to sync the activities that we've completed here, then sync it to the LMS for the electrical wiring simulator so that the faculty or the or the uh, professor in charge for the program will be able to see what are the things that this particular student or trainees was able to finish. So we will take a look at that. Okay, we will remove this pro, pro version because this is already a pro version, free certificate, so on and so forth. Okay, so this, uh, this, uh, the, the, uh, the existing modules that we have as of this moment is we have the DC, AC series, the practical electrical residential wiring, the magnetic contactors, the relay solenoid valves, motors, and then the electro, uh, simple electronic semiconductors. But later on, if we decided that we are going to pursue this partnership, hopefully, hopefully, we are going to have this partnership, uh, we can uh, customize all of this to, to, to fit it to the institution's needs and how you want to organize your modules later on. We, 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 we can do that. Okay? So now, l let us take a look at some of the examples here. Uh, for example, in the magnetic contactors, uh, magnetic control controllers, we have the simple as this one. Okay, so as what we can see here, this is quite very similar to compared to compared to schematic diagrams. Working with the schematic diagrams, one of the challenges there is uh, they cannot see the actual pictures. So what we want to uh, have in this application is what what is the how the component really works in real life. So the you, 
that, that that's what we want to, to show it here. Okay? And then the recent module that we have is this uh, practical electrical residential installation. So basically, uh, the, there is a junction box, a breaker, and then we can test uh, this one. So now, uh, let me show you the basic, the controls, the controls over here. Okay, so we have here and then the clear, the undo, the load, the save, and then we also have this one, the camera, I will show later on. And then of course the tutorial on how to do it and then showing the circuit. So basically this is the zoom and the the zoom and then this is the panning, the panning. Uh, last time we we incorporated the, the touch, but the, there were some issues with other mobile devices, so that is why we, we go back to the old school. But if we can have some uh, if we can already solve the problem with the development team, uh, we will try to, to update that one. But as of the moment, the safest solution that we can have is uh, this one, the scrolling, and then this is the, the, the panning tool. Okay, so let's try to have this, this circuit as an example. So if you're going to click this one, uh, it will show you the, the, the schematic diagram. Okay, and then to click again, on, off lang. So b basically just turning... Uh, we're just showing and hiding the circuit for the for this specific activity. Now, let's try to click this one, okay? And then it will open the junction box, okay? And then this the proportion of this first button here is to cancel the wiring. For example, if we're going to click that one and then click, and then uh, okay, so I don't want to continue wiring right now, so I can click simply click this X, okay? And then the wiring will be stopped along the way. Okay, so let's try to continue wiring. Okay, and then for example, you don't like uh, how it looks like that. You can simply clear this one. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, and then we also have, let's say like that. And then you don't want how this wire looks like, so you can also click the undo. Okay, undo to undo the previous wiring. Okay, and then let's try to com complete the wiring first. Okay, and then let's continue to the circuit breaker. Okay, and then let's go here. Yeah, let's have it here. And then here. Okay, and then let's try to test it if, if we got the, the, the correct wiring based on the diagram that we have here. So it says here, a past 9 over 9. So basically we have 9 wires in this particular activity. Okay, so if it is already passed, we can already start the the simulation but before that there is also another feature here we have here the save the users can save the the, the wires okay if they completed the, the wiring for this moment they can save that wire okay so it says here uh, circuit successfully saved now if we're going to clear all of this wiring clear and then load it again so we will be able to uh, to to see the loaded the, the saved wire and then click simulate again so we passed. And then let's try to do some simulation. Okay. Ah, by the way, we also have here, if you are going to click this camera, a, a camera will be put it here. We will we, we'll put, we, we'll be there. Okay. It will be there. The rationale of why we created or why we, we put a camera there for a students or for us also the faculty or the instructors, for us to see, to have another activity. For the students to see their picture there or to see their camera there while they are doing the wiring. Probably uh, just like this one. Okay, uh, There is a camera there and then they are going to explain how to, to, record, uh, to, to wire this specific circuit and then record it since there is already a screen recorder for uh, Android phone and then uh, the uh, iPhone, iOS, there is already an embedded screen recorder so what we want to do is just to put your camera here there okay and then the students will be able to discuss how to do the wiring so that we re we can really see or check that that student really was doing that particular wiring okay so basically that's the function there okay so now if you're going to close this one one of the good things about this uh, circuit simulator this electrical wiring simulator is that uh, what they see here is what they are going to see in, in, in the real life, in actual scenario. So what we want to do here is as much as possible, they can simulate the functionality of the circuit. Now, let's try. 
For example, if we're going to click this one, so of course we have to click the main circuit breaker and then that one. Okay? And then if you're going to on this one, so the light will turn on. Okay? Light will turn on off, of course, with the with the sound effects. Now, if we're going to turn on that one and then off this uh, circuit breaker here, intended for the uh, bulb, of course it will turn off. Okay? And then if you're going to turn on this circuit breaker and then off the main circuit breaker, of course it will turn off. If we're going to turn it again, it will turn on. So basically, that's that's the rationale of the circuit. And then, hopefully, we can add uh, features or we can add or we can modify this uh, functionality of this circuit or the functionality of the circuit depending on the standard of the country. So that is why we are really looking forward for our partnership and collaboration uh, in the future. Now, if you have some questions or clarifications, you can always uh, chat me or we can maybe we can have a, 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 a thread or how we can communicate so that we will have a faster communication with the development team. So that's it. And thank you for giving us again this opportunity to work with your uh, institution. Thank you and, and have a good day.